escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world could we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear sister. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us. We stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... So do they. <coughs> Find him. Thane! Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. There you go, big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Oh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlon, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you're lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. Where am I? Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Otavon is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> Is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> You may have power, but you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers emergency frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they planned to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with a stone in hand. But it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. Huh? 
I am told that AIM only worships science. But if any of you believe in the goddess, now would be the time to start praying. Not one step further, fools, or you'll be crashing harder than the Winter Soldier. Oh well, it was sound advice, but if you won't listen, I can make you! <laughs> and it will be the last thing you ever hear. <sighs> <sighs> the noise came from over here. Sounded like a gamma bomb went off. In these jungles, it could be anything. You speak the truth. So it is best to beware. Lest the hunters become the prey. Can't let you go any further, I'm afraid. Modok still has plans for this one. And if he gets his prize, I get mine. Wakanda's throne. You may think you've won, but you haven't heard the last of me! Ambush! <laughs> Aim forces are closing in. If you're hoping to stop Modok, you need to go now. I mean it! In there, I'm just a liability. Weapon aim can use against you. Let me buy you the time to finish the mission I couldn't. Don't worry about me. I've taken down the Red Skull. A few guys in beekeeper suits should be no problem. Now go! Stand back, friends. The Dora Milaje have this situation under control. There are forces at play here your feeble minds cannot begin to comprehend. Nothing is under your control. Not even the concentration of psionic energy that you call a soul. This stone, so much power! I must have them all! <sighs> Fetch them for me, won't you, my dears? I have matters of great scientific importance that require my immediate attention. Fail. 
You already have, Modok. But you did succeed in one thing. You stirred the ancient warriors that reside here in this city of the dead. The Necropolis is now their home, just as Wakanda is mine. And we shall protect our homes at any cost. What in the name of science? No, not science, Modok. Something far greater. Far, far greater. Your Majesty, if I may. Yes, of course. No man is fit to wield such power unchecked. Not even a king. Each of these stones is capable of shattering worlds on their own. Just imagine what they could do together. Yes. Just imagine. So, what do we do with the Infinity Stones now? We must take action to ensure that they do not fall into the wrong hands. <coughs> <coughs> There is only one hand on which they belong. The hand of Thanos. Wow, these losers just don't quit, do they? And thankfully, neither do you. If not for your efforts, we would have been forced to gather each of the stones ourselves. I will make certain that our master celebrates what you've done here. In your eulogies. This door will not hold them for long. Then we stand and fight until the end. What is this place? Thanks to Wakanda's ancient priests, the walls of the necropolis not only detail ancient history, they also give us a glimpse of the future. If it's literally set in stone, then how can we change it? As long as there's hope, there's always a chance, son. Ah, but he's not your son. Now is he? No. No matter how he tries to hide it, this one has a familiar aroma about him. The sweet smell of death. I have heard whispers of you, Thane. My master's lost progeny. How proud he will be to have you by his side. He's already chosen which side he stands on. Then let him fall on it as well. I said, until the end. Wait! You came here for the stones, not for their lives. Thane, what are you? Take the stones. And if you must take a life, take mine. Just spare theirs. <laughs> Thanos shows no mercy to those who oppose his will. Thanos is not here. Huh? His son is. And we accept his offer. 
treacherous fool. This shall not stand. Perhaps the child is right. The stones are the true prize. With such power at our command, these heroes are nothing more than fleas. Death by our hands is not an honor they have earned. They deserve something much worse. Okay, we are definitely dead this time. Nay, I know this foul place well, noble vermin. The Black Order hath banished us to the Asgardian realm of lost souls. Welcome to hell, mortals. <laughs> what manner of demon is this? <sighs> no demon at all, my prince. Just a humble servant of Asgard, who knows full well that the living do not belong in this wretched place. I do not take kindly to uninvited guests in my realm. We were exiled here beyond our control, Lady Hela. I came to ferry these warriors back to Asgard, but the path has since been closed to me. Ah, yes. Well, I fear Asgard has its own visitors to deal with at the moment. What wicked scheme have you hatched this time, Queen of the Dead? I have merely done what I always have. Lord Thor. Whatever I must, to ensure that my realm is forever filled with fresh souls, including yours. Now, I must attend to more important matters. But I've invited a trusted ally from Muspelheim to make sure you feel right at home. Whatever magic Hela used to block our escape, it has vanished along with her. I am once again free to summon the Bifrost. What devilry! And thus to move this battle to more familiar ground. I've waited eons to cleave this cursed bridge in two! None shall steal that glory from me! Glory is reserved for the gods, Santa! And you are not fit to walk amongst them. Curse you, Odin, son! I shall return! I, my foes always do. But as long as Asgard still stands, the mighty Thor and his allies shall defend it till their dying breaths. <laughs>